Well, we got another one. This is an 86 Cutlass Supreme. Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. 307. Standard V8 motor. Only V8 motor in these years. It runs and drives. But it needs piston rings. At least one or two. Unfortunately. It only has 60,000 miles. The car is very, very clean. For the most part except for a few little imperfections, which I'll show you. It's a loaded model. It's the Brome, so it has every option except for the power vent windows. But besides that, it's loaded. And I'm just driving it around. It runs rough. And I kind of want to do motor work to it, but I'm not sure yet. I love the opera lights on this side, which a lot of these Cutlasses had, but not all of them. And I love the four door sentimental. As a kid, my father had one of these, so I always used to ride around in it. And yeah, so I guess let's do the uh, once around. So, like I said, it's clean. It's got a little rust on the bumper. So in the future, it is going to need a bumper, but that's really the only rust. Got a little dent over here very very tiny and another one right over here power antenna doesn't work unfortunately so like i said it's got the nice interior Power seat, cruise, tilt, power, windows, locks. And if you did have the power vent windows, those switches would be right over here. These seats are super, super, super comfortable though. All original. Like I said, only 62. Probably wasn't maintained. I mean, how could this motor go with that low mileage? Original radio. Reading light, even your lighted mirror. We'll start it in a sec. Like I said, the windows on these did not go down. For whatever reason, beyond me. Just little vent windows. Very uncomfortable riding in the back on a hot day. I know from personal experience as a kid. No fun. Reclining passenger seat, which was a rare option. My father's didn't have this. Super soft. Like I said, the most comfortable seats. have the original book and as you can see there it is kind of cool so let's fire her up got the four speed overdrive and yeah it runs it runs pretty bad but at least it runs yeah the four barrel Rochester quadrajet all original on the air cruise works everything works except the 
says the same motor as the Caddy, the 86 Caddy. So on this car, this motor will be very suitable if you have to get ran with. So, still thinking about what to do with that. And my favorite thing of all, like I said, is the upper lights. You can't see them now, but they give a nice glow at night. A lot of your Oldsmobile taillights. I just love this car. It's very sentimental to me. And it's super clean. So if I have to do motor work, big deal. There's your option codes if you want to pause and do that. Original sticker, jack and spare. See, still has the lettering inside with the titties. So I don't think this Uniroyo was ever used. It is clean in here, no rust. You could see it's, it's a clean car. This again was a drop of impulse buy. See, cardboard all in there because it's a sentimental car. I had been wanting one of these for a long time because again, my father had the same car when I was a kid. He passed, my mother got rid of his. So for years, I'd been wanting to find one. The only real thing is the, uh, you see, the impact strips are being held on with the screw. But it's a clean car. It really is. Body on frame, rear wheel drive. I mean, come on. What's not to like, right? You don't see these on the road at all anymore. And if you do, it's always the two door. But yeah, this is another toy out of the collection. I got this one about three, four months ago, and I've just been driving it. I've just been driving it. Not far, but locally, it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, your cruise works. Cassette player doesn't work, but I'm not worried about that right now. Haven't tried the AC. And yeah, I love these G bodies. It's clean really is clean. So this one's probably gonna stick around for a while and like the Lincoln, which I'm still up in the air what to do with that one. But anyways, for now, this is Harry Rez signing off.